Hi, it's Lynn from Lenny C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on to create another version of this card. It's one of the ones that we made in card class this week. Um, and it's using um, one of the cards and envelopes that you can earn for free during celebration which runs until the end of August so here's the um, the set and they come in two variations you get 20 cards and envelopes and you can earn them for free with a qualifying order and I've used them with the cup of tea bundle and I've used a sentiment from peaceful moments so this is the um, pool party version um, and I'm going to use this time the soft seafoam card. So it's white on the inside, it's got a lovely pattern on the front, beautiful envelopes with some um, detailing on. Let's move that out of the way. And this is quite a simple card. I've got a little piece of vellum and this is... Um, seven centimeters by 11 centimeters and I'm going to emboss this with um, a 3d embossing folder now the other one I did with the splatters and this time round I'm going to use the stripes I have already die cut um, from pool party keeping with the colors um, the teacup and then I've got um, a quarter of a sheet of basic white where I'm going to do some stamping and some more die cutting. So let's do that. So I'm going to use some of the adhesive sheet. Now these are brilliant if you've got intricate dies. You get 12 sheets um, and they're 6 by 12 and a half inch, 6 inches by 12 and a half inches. So really good value for money. I'm going to peel it off and just stick it on the top corner there. Stick that down. And that's, I'm going to pop that there so that I know not to stamp in that corner. I've got two colours and I've mounted my stamps already and because they're photopolymer stamps, I'm going to use my um, foam board just to give me a slightly better impression. So I've got the leaves which are going to be in, stamped in pear pizzazz. Lovely. And then I've got the flowers and I'm going to ink that up. And I've got Calypso Coral, I think. Yes, Calypso Coral. And I'm going to do full strength and then stamp again so you've got second generation and that is all of the stamping apart from the sentiment and I'm going to do that in the um, pear pizzazz again and I'm going to stamp that there I'm going to use a punch to punch that out so I'm using the postage stamp punch so let me put these away or at least off to one side we don't need that gone now let's take that out of the way so I'm just going to oh I did that on the wrong corner that was rather silly Lynn <sighs> Never mind. Let's do this like that. We're going to have made that into I've made that into a partial sticker. Not what I meant to do, but we'll get another little bit of this.
So for my class, I actually gave people the um, cut this to seven centimeters. Right. So we don't need all of that, do we? Let's pop that on there. And we'll trim off that excess there and save that bit for later. Okay. We can overcome. So let's get my little mini machine in. got my base plate which you need for everything and then what did I do with that embossing folder put it somewhere safe there we go let's do the embossing of the vellum first if you can find the vellum there we are <laughs> really hard to see I'm gonna stick that down and it's just nice to give the background some um, texture that's all I'm trying to do so pop on our number four plate which is for use with 3d embossing folders and just run that through like that oh and I love that that's the first time I've used that embossing folder lovely now we're going to do some die cutting so we need our two number two plates if i can do this all in one go washi tape on it to hold it in place because it's going to move on me tiniest bit on there and let's see if that will work stay in stay in I'm just going to run that teapot back because it's cutting through the card and the bit of sticky. So that's worked perfectly. And then pretty. Do one more lot of flowers and I think it's nice to have that second generation just to give you two tone of flowers to arrange a little teacup let's see if I can line that up properly mm -hmm. run that through a second time in my own strength there we go and they just pop straight out lovely So here we go, let's put this together. Now normally with vellum I think you have to be a little bit careful about what should we do, how you glue it. So 
what I did was I arranged my let's get the poker tool I arranged everything on the vellum and then added the vellum to the card so you can see I'll show you waffling always waffling it's very hot here at the moment when I'm while I'm filming this I'm in my craft room oh. now rather than poke each bit of that out I'm going to feel and remove the backing and it should bring a lot of those pieces out remembering that there's two bits that's not bad look only a couple of bits to take off and effectively you've turned this into a sticker which is brilliant okay So effectively you've turned that into a sticker, it's all sticky underneath and it just means it's easier to add that, add intricate dies on if you were using sort of glue on that, well I would get in a sticky mess that's for sure. So let's take all those bits out of the way. That's a really pretty die. Put that back on my lovely. So I'm going to add this with a little bit of glue on the back here. Whoever designed this was very clever. Just take that extra bit off. And then I'm going to pop some dimensionals. Here we are. We've on that, we'll put a couple there, one down the bottom, and one up the top. just like to say thank you for watching my videos really appreciate it I've got some new uh, quite a few new subscribers so welcome hope you're enjoying the channel so actually that's going to go on quite easily if I can get the can peel off the edge Right, once you've got it started, I think I might just add a little bit on that corner there. A little bit of wet glue. Okay. Lovely. And then it's just a question of arranging our little flowers and petals. So give them a little bit of a zhuzh as I do. And I think I'm going to get my silicon mat actually because just in case, because I'm using wet glue. And it's so unpredictable, this glue. You can try and get just a little bit. Nine times out of ten, a big blob comes out. So 
going to share that with glue there. That's too much there. And let's Just arrange our flowers. go and then we can turn that over and you can see where you can add your wet glue and it's not going to show through when you stick because vellum can be a bit tricky can't it to add to projects Pop that there. and then we can add that there and instead of gems, I am going to use some pearlized enamel effect basics whites just to create some centers for the flowers. So you literally you can make, I love this because you can make pearls or drops, whatever size you want. So I've just done those in the big ones. And there we have our other card. I think these are really pretty twin and 20 cards and envelopes. Anyway, I know my ladies enjoyed making these, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Please do leave me a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed, then please hit that button and the little bell so you get notified when I post a video, which is generally once a week on a Sunday. Anyway, that's all. Bye for now. Take care.